Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV. On this week's episode, I'm going to show you five Jeep Wrangler internal storage solutions. We'll have a look at them, we'll install them, and see how we like them. And if we do like them, in the tip segment, I'll share with you some discount codes. So stick around. Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV. I'm Dino, your host. Glad to see you here. Anybody who has a Jeep Wrangler knows that when it comes to internal storage solutions, it's sorely lacking. I mean, the front dash of my Jeep Wrangler JL is the best looking dash on any vehicle out there. I just love it. But I do wish I had a few more options when it came to internal storage. The little nets in the side door are maybe good to hold a mask or an envelope, but that's about it. You put anything bulky in there and they'll stretch out and they look awful. We do have some nice cup holders, but that's pretty much it. So let's have a look at these five storage solutions sent to us by RTTCZ. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is open up these boxes sent to me by RTTCZ to see what these five Jeep Wrangler internal storage solutions are. Then we'll try and install them. Okay, so this first item looks like a black plastic storage pocket that fits in the back tub part of the Jeep. So there's one. And here's another black plastic storage pocket that seems to fit here in the back tub on the driver's side. And it has the 3M like tape here that would hold it in place. So we'll be seeing how this goes in and how much we like it. And this looks like a black plastic storage pocket that probably fits to one side of the gear shift area. So lots of the 3M light tape here to hold it in place. And here's one more black plastic pocket that you can see here fits over the gear shift lever right here. So we'll install this. And then also this item here is another black plastic storage device that fits in the front compartment. I believe this goes just behind the grab bar on the passenger side, so we'll have a look. And here's item number five, which I'll do near the end and we'll open it back then. Uh, this is gonna be pretty cool. Okay. So let's first take a look at these black plastic pockets here that fit in the rear tub area. Let's see how it fits and how well it works. Okay, it is form fit for that pocket right there. I just dropped it right in. I haven't even used the tape part yet. I could just fit it in like that and leave it and remove it when I feel like it. Or I could use the tape to keep it in there permanently. Let's get a close look. So you can see there how this just fits like a glove. It just seems like it belongs there. So I'm really, really happy to have this because you can put all those little loose ends in there. Your microfiber cloth, your winch remote, some bungee cords that would be easily accessible when you need them, or some ratchet straps, anything. Put in the comment section below what kind of things you could see throwing in there as well. Now, when we go to the driver's side, you can see the one there fits like a glove as well. So you can see here that this one is a little bit shorter so that you can leave room for the wiring for the hard top, but it looks amazing and I really like it because it adds more storage functionality in the back of the Jeep and it looks like it just belongs there. Beautiful. Okay, so here you have now the pouch on either side of the gear shift this is the passenger side and you can see how that pouch in that pocket looks nice and deep it just sort of blends in nicely with the center console similar here on the other side of the transfer case lever it's a great place to put your wallet a mask a little package of kleenex any kinds of little items that you want to keep from sliding around and they won't occupy your cup holders because now you can use them for your cups. I like them, they fit in just nicely. They don't look out of place. 
The only thing I'd caution you on is the one on this side of the transfer case lever might interfere with your ability to slide your seat all the way forward for those of you who are a little shorter. Otherwise, looks pretty awesome. And here is the storage solution that just fits right behind the grab bar handle right here. It just snaps right into place. And that's also a great place that you could store little items like a little package of Kleenex, some gum, your cell phone, and you can't even tell it's there. Very nice. Now let's have a look at the fifth storage option for the inside of your Jeep Wrangler. But now you're probably wondering, what is the fifth storage option that's in the big box? Well, let's have a look. Well, as you can see, what we have is a well-packaged and well-protected all aluminum, lightweight, rear cargo area storage shelf. So I'll get this further unpacked and install it and we'll see what we think. Here's some hardware along with an Allen key. Here's one of the side mounting brackets. And here's the other side mounting bracket. So the first step on installing this rear all aluminum lightweight cargo shelf is to install the side brackets first. The first stage of installing the rear shelf is to put on these side brackets where the single bolt piece here is facing towards the rear of the Jeep and the wider two bolt piece is facing towards the front. And then you use the hard top bolts to just secure that bracket in place. And then you can see on this side, the other bracket, again with the thinner piece towards the back and the wider piece towards the front. And then this bracket is held in place with the hard top bolts. And there's the top right down here, which will secure to those holes. And then you just bolt the top shelf to those side brackets. So you feed the bolt in with the round head on the inside. There's a washer in between the two pieces and then the nylock nut on the end. And there's three that go in on this side. And there's three on this side. And you have a nice solid lightweight aluminum shelf with this lip right up here to hold things in. And you still have access to these storage cubbies back here as well. And now that is a really nice, solid, lightweight, very strong aluminum shelf. You could store all kinds of things on here when you're camping. This lip will keep things secure. You could bungee cord things down to it. It's nice and strong. And this is a great storage solution. If you're not into doing a DIY storage shelf, or as you saw here, the DIY attic shelf, something like this is not too much money. And with the cheaper Jeep or TV discount code, it'll even cost you less. So let's go to the tip segment where I could show you how you could save money on this and the other storage solutions. Now for some cheaper Jeeper tips. If any of these storage solutions are of interest to you, I will have a link to the RTTCZ website for each of the storage solutions. And once you get there, if your order is over $20, it's free shipping in the contiguous states. And then to get your 10% discount, make sure after you go to checkout that you enter the CJTV10 discount code to give you an additional 10% off. And although I haven't reviewed every item on the RTTCZ website, I'm pretty sure my discount code will work on other items as well. So feel free to have a look and try it out. So I hope you found that helpful, but what also is very helpful are the tips that we hear from our subscribers. And now for subscribers tips. 
This week's subscriber tip comes from our tire plug repair challenge video with three tips. Hey Cheaper Jeeper TV, I usually have a rubber dead blow hammer in the Jeep toolkit which can be used to drive the reaming tool in if required. Signed, Jeff. Hey Jeff, thank you very much for the tip. It will certainly help out because I can't emphasize enough it was a lot of work to get that plug into the hole. And if you have a tip that you'd like to share, please feel free to put it in the comments section below as it may make it in a future video. Thank you very much. Hey, that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. I hope that you found it interesting. And if you did, how about giving the video a thumbs up? And if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button right here and the alert bell so you'll be notified when the next video is released. Until then, I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV. Be well, stay safe, take care.